Oh, Shrek mug. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink his brains. He wants. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Ben from Norway TTG. Hello. And my fat fellow channel member, Brad. You wouldn't say fat member. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Halloween. Um. <laughs> it's okay. He was going to spell it with a ph. Yeah. 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 Fat. Fat. <laughs> Yeah, I am the fat member. Moving on. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. It was fine. It was just fine. I'm going through an existential crisis as to whether or not being a nice person is worth it anymore. So, <laughs> It's not a particularly nice person format, to be honest. Yeah, like, round one, I play Jake. I could have just helped, held him on the Mystic Mine, shut him out for a while. I chose to break the lock myself. Mistake. Um, if I had sequenced things better, it probably wouldn't have... It would have been better for me, but I immediately fuck up. Um, round two... Who did I play round two? I played, uh, Mira. Um, just standard back and forth one. Um, <coughs> then round three I play Kyra, and just decide to just leave the Mystic Mine there. And I won because of it. So, yeah, just decked her out in game two. And then round three... Uh, round four I played Josh. Again, could have just chosen to be the arsehole. I had a minute left to just combo off a little bit, attack for damage. Instead, I tried to do it in like 20 seconds so that he had a turn to get back. And yeah, again, chosen to be the arsehole, I would have won. So, that's how it is. Nice guys finished last. Well, you didn't finish last in fairness, you finished. Uh, I didn't get an OTS pack at the last. You didn't want the OTS yeah. pack, do you? Still. Doesn't have a super yeah. amount of interest in it, but at the same time, like if he pulls an ulti, he can <coughs> sell it and make some money. Does he get that little bit of store credit? Yeah, there's that too. Also, there were mats involved. Oh were yeah, involved. that's right. Yeah, brag. Missed, how was your week? Missed that mat opportunity, didn't I? Mm. Um, yeah, it's three locals, isn't it? I missed uh, like because t- tonight would have been fourth. You did yeah, Saturday. I did Thursday. No, Thursday was different then. I don't know. Yeah, so, so you've done two. Yeah, two locals and then a Pokemon locals in there too. Uh, someone was it Logan had tried going oh get into Commander on Wednesdays I'm like that means every day I will be at a store playing a card game yes no and I don't think I'm, I don't why. like look there's definitely me that would do that I probably will do that in future I don't want to do that today yeah this week so and I'm kind of so I'm kind of glad I got done by work so I missed tonight but earlier in the week we had the prem well not the premiere it was just the, a the normal delayed, locals, but yeah, just but with, with extra match. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So they, we basically had the, like the kit that was meant to be with um, Power of the Elements. So we we're playing for the match and the the divider field centers. Yeah, and the uh, ultra promo. Yeah, yeah. So it's one it was one, one ultra promo per yeah, kit. You get the See, I didn't of, realize that. Um, field centers, but you only get one now. It used to be yeah. everyone got one, but oh, now that it's has just... been like that for years. Yeah, I know, but we haven't done anything like that because Wollongong hasn't got the kit. Four years, so no, I no, no. we've gotten the kit before, and it's just the one field center. Who got the ultra? No, 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 no. It's the other way around. Who got the ultra? What? M pen. It's one ultra. Yeah, I don't think so, we ever got that set. We yeah. didn't get. We got the other set before. Yeah, so <coughs> it's now the opposite way around. Everyone gets a field center, but there's only one ultra promo. All right, I think I, I think I still just got the the interpretation wrong. We definitely <coughs> only got the one promo in the last kit. Yeah, yeah, but that hasn't been the case before. Like, the last time that Wollongong actually had kits to give out, yeah. it was everyone got an ultra promo. It was also and... pre-COVID. Oh, yeah, it was fucking years ago. I think they changed it, like, straight as COVID started, they were like, one person. Yeah, but Wollongong just hasn't <coughs> got a kit in ages, so yeah. it was like, and I was explaining it to the dude who ran the store, because he just had the pack and it had the ultra on top. I didn't see what else was in there. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, everyone gets one of the ultras and then um, you yeah. give out the field spell. Yeah. And then he opened the pack and there's only one ultra. I was like, oh? No. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. Like, I, and I didn't know that or else I would have bought ultra impens when I saw them for Well, yeah, shit. it makes sense now that there's so much money. I thought it was just a thing of like, oh, not many stores yeah. were getting the They're packs. Like legitimately hard to get. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and if I'd known they were that legitimately hard to get, I'd definitely, because <laughs> like, I passed an opportunity to get one for like 20 bucks. Oh, what do you do? The ultra looks like shit. It does. <laughs> it, I guess. I guess it being shit and also warped as hell <coughs> might change yeah. 
that perspective. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I went pretty good at the the Power of the Elements one, you but did. then the week before, oh no, Monday night too. Monday, yeah, you did fairly well both nights. No, no, not anymore. <laughs> uh, it's so like glad I too many card games. Was. They blur together. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, playing Exorcist. Uh, woohoo! Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, yes, we it does. It, it squeezes out wins. It's it's a perfectly fine deck. It it's it does the closest stuff. that the formats come to like a deck having like a just a centralized monster that does all the things. Because effectively, once you make one XZ, it just becomes all the other XZs. Yeah, yeah. They go alright. They're not as opposed to as opposed to some opinions sprouted out. Exorcists aren't that bad. They're not great. They're not the best mind deck by a long shot, but they're good. They're good. How about your week? My week, it started real rough. Um, so I played Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, went really shit Saturday. Went really shit Sunday. And went just as shit Monday. I had three days where I was like, so fucking miserable. Um, <coughs> and then like it just got to a point where I was like, this can't happen. I, I can't do it anymore. I have to change. And thankfully, the tournament tonight was like... The... What what happened between then and now, though? Yes, you changed your deck a little, but what did you pull a third copy of? Oh, yeah, I did get... Yeah, so that was like the saving grace of uh, the Monday night, so is that good. I got my two entry packs and I pulled the third uh, of the two element field spell. Because, again, like I've said on the podcast multiple times, I was waiting for it to dip in price and it hadn't. So to have pulled it without having to effectively pay full price for it was really nice so when you left on saturday arvo I, that was that was a that was a rough tournament wasn't it yeah and so I'll, 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 never, I'll never accuse anyone of breaking any laws here but you did make a swift escape including in the car park was, boom, out of there man this is how the jaker rolls yeah he was <laughs> out peace i'm like oh yeah i was not hanging around to chat yeah. i was just i want to go home and drown my sorrows in chicken <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then so on monday night you get to your car first me and logan are, like, are leaving i'm like i'll watch this logie bear he, like, he loves to just zip out of here and he left in a in an orderly fashion i'm like oh I'm like, oh, he mustn't be cranky tonight. And, Jake, and no, then Logan's like, he pulled, the, he pulled the field spell. I'm like, oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do distinctly remember, um, what's the best way to phrase it? Giving some welly on the way out of the car park on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> if I crash, it's okay. <laughs> He wanted to spin the tires because then it deploys the green and purple smoke so that when his white car goes through, he can yell, I'm the Jacob, baby! Yeah. He hangs it's, out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Considering you were talking about um, not sure if you should be the nice guy, I don't know if you should be making Joker references at the moment. Yeah, it's he's fine. too tired of being the nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> Which I anyway. feel that as well. I have to explain these bloody Exorcist cars. It's killing me. <laughs> Stop explaining them. Just say, uh, what does it do? Nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> I XC summon. Yeah. yeah it doesn't exist. Something, just... something, something, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then going to tonight, um, I got to locals relatively early. I generally try to get there with like half an hour before it starts. I got there like at six so that I could put the deck together. Because um, I'd gotten most things I needed. I was waiting on a couple more dangers, but uh, I was having them. time to deck build. Well, I'll so get into that in a second. Um, so yeah, put the deck together. Um, the sides were like, I kind of just put in what I liked. I basically pulled any side card that I thought could be good into like a box. So I had like maybe 30 different options for side cards sitting in the deck box. And Why then when I got to the local- stuff in a binder at all times. I do. I pulled it aside because I couldn't fit it in my bag. I had syndicate binders. I can't fit all three in my bag. You have arms? No, because I think I lost my last folder because I used my arm. I have, a anyway. similar, I have a similar system with the speed jewel boxes and I have two speed jewel boxes and then I packed the speed jewel box, opened it at locals and went, oh, this is the speed jewel cards. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I will not get anything it, today. Generally speaking, though, I do have them all in a, a folder and I just flick through it. But yeah, last night, it was just a case of I don't know exactly what cards I'll have available to me tomorrow yeah. because it depends if people bring the things I need. So I'll put in all of these and then we'll work out the build later. 
Um, but yeah, put the deck together, was sort of happy with the sides. I was a bit worried about a couple of matchups, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, game one was against you. Uh, you out of the Mystic Mind for me, but couldn't get rid of the whole board. So then uh, Zero Boris banished everything, and you were running low on resources at that point. Um, game two was against Josh. Um, and that was like sort of standard kind of things. Um, I went first first in that game um and i just had everything like the time thief triggering sprite bringing back um super poly set like i just had every oh and the snow flip as well because why not yeah um just had everything uh game two he opened uh, a pointer took the only interaction card i had in my hand out which was the instant fusion oh i'm sorry was that a spell card it was a spell card yeah interesting that um, so he took the instant fusion out of my hand. So then all I had was like double dark ruler Nessie tactics. Yep. Um, and then he activated the set thingy. Um, after I, th- I think I'd tried the, um, Nessie. It, he hit the Nessie. I went to use Nessie effect. He ashed in hand. Cause I saw that from the, um, a pointer cause he yep. did use it correctly. Um, then he used the he trap, his own hand. ripped a card out of my hand, which was the tactic. So then I just was left with double dark ruler. Oh, so no, it wasn't Double Dark Ruler. I like It's uh, Dark Ruler Super Poly. But nothing on the board was Super Polyable. Um, so I lost that one. But then game three, um, he had Double Hand Trap, uh, but I'd opened Double Anti Spell. So I just set those. Okay. Um, I think I ended on... What did I end on? I think I ended on the Fusion just because the targets were a bit iffy. Like, I didn't get that good of mills. So I just sort of sat on that with, like, a like yeah. It wasn't a particularly good ball, but it did the job. Uh, game three against Josh. I opened very shit. Mm-hmm. Had to do, like, the adventure package to get into my sprite package. Yeah. And he just top decked every card he actually needed whenever he needed it. And I was like... Cool. Yeah, Josh has a habit of doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I flipped the anti-spell. He changed Silent Graveyard. Um, but then the rest of his handy spells. So, like, Small World, Dark Ruler... All this other garbage. None yeah. of us doing anything. I was like, cool. Um, and then, yeah, won that game. Uh, versus Luke in round three. Um, he went first. I saw he had the Dweller, so I was like, I'm not going to bother trying to play through a Dweller. Uh, go to my game. Uh, I set up a Dweller, um, and I have a Super Poly set, so like that's the end of him. Yeah. Uh, and then game three, he just opened trash just absolute garbage the best he had was like a d barrier and a uh, not a silent graveyard a call by the grave yeah but then i just set up my own abyss dweller and sat on that for like three turns and just started poking yep um and yeah he couldn't do a thing uh <coughs> and then the last game was the game that i was most worried about bragg didn't show up so i didn't have to worry about that but i was worried about flunder so i was like this can seriously fuck me yeah um so he goes first i can't out the barrier statue move to my turn um i set up uh time thief negate trap and i think i had the snow engrave or something something like that but my mills were decent that i had stuff engrave the game two was pretty back and forth it's recorded as well so um if you don't feel like i'm telling the truth by all means just go back and watch it once it's up on the channel um <laughs> game th- uh yeah game two um he sort of he got to a point where like he couldn't really out my board so he just sort of um went for duality uh saw a mystic mind he's like okay cool yep whack up the mystic mind i was like oh okay yep draw uh can't activate that cool uh stand by main cosmic target hey. thing yep. push uh and then game three he just <coughs> didn't open well oh i should point out too in both games one and two he opened shifter and just i heard shotgun and saw i heard that from across the room yep I heard, uh, I heard it one of us, yes. Yeah, yeah, about that. Um, so yeah, uh, game three, he didn't open that. But I was super paranoid that he did, because in his entire turn, he didn't put any cards in the graveyard. So I was thinking he was going to shotgun it in my turn, so that it'd linger longer. Yep, yep. And I was so fucking scared. I was like, um, activate Shiren <laughs> effect? <laughs> <laughs> um but thankfully he didn't um i was able to play through the initial board um oh the the critical thing about game three is that he went eaglin effect and i chained happiness so then it put a body on the board sooner than a normal summon 
because he had the barrier statue and everything set up. Yep. So I was able to put that to attack, threaten the attack into the barrier statue, and he had to flip the trap okay. sooner. Yep. So then he hmm. flipped the trap, um, had like the Apex Avian on board, flipped the thing with the trap once he summoned the Avian. And I was like, cool, Dark Ruler no more. Ah. Uh, triple Tactics, draw two. Yeah. Yeah, do all the okay, things okay, um, so snowboard from there and then it got to a point uh, where basically I just had the negate trap and Kaleido heart on the board at one time yep so he could never get anywhere so yeah um, in all of that I ended up winning tonight tonight was a slightly special thing it was a winner map <coughs> for an illusion of chaos map um, it was the one that's was a regional map but this one just said store champ yeah, like it that. said championship on the bottom of something. Um, so, yeah, it's a kind of cool map. It's literally just the regional map with regional switched for OTS champion. I thought it was like the that. power of the element map. Uh, that, was, that, was, was, that was second and third prize. I would have quit my job. <laughs> um, so, yeah, won that. Uh, got <laughs> three packs of OTS and also pulled a skill train, which I've Ooh. lined up a buy for, you, so yeah. money. You pick it up. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, went from having three really miserable locals where I was, like, contemplating just playing Master Duel forever to winning this and being, like, I'm on top of the world, nothing can beat me. Uh, <laughs> Back to Master Duel forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of Master Duel, um, mm. quick, uh, quick note on that. So there have been a couple of updates, which I'll get through quickly. Firstly, uh, the new pack is out, Newborn Dragons, which mm -hmm. is basically just all of the new branded support. Yep. Uh, so if you weren't particularly enjoying the format a few months ago <laughs> when the structure decks came out, uh, bad news, it's back. Back again. <laughs> uh, and as far as I can work out, other than cross out being limited, it's pretty much at full power. Like, yeah, there's nothing Everything really else stopping is just it. checked. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the Flandry's deck is... Didn't even get the fucking quick play. No, still hasn't got that. Thank fuck. Uh, if you um, listen to Jake, though, they got it last set. I never said they got it. <laughs> yeah, you did, because I asked you if they got it. No, you were like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's there. And I was like, I'm pretty cool, sure on every pack you asked about, I said no. Nah, the last one specifically, you were like, yeah, pretty sure it's there. And I was like, yeah, let's go. It wasn't there. We're going to talk about rarities, right? Yeah, so um, I think they had an inkling that uh, people were keen to play uh, Branded Despia. It's almost like they released a ban list that kind of said, Hey, play, play this. Branded Despia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to play that? Um, so I think all bar one of the cards that you would actually play in the deck is Ultra. I have spent more money on that deck. <laughs> I did on the actual deck. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, valid. Yeah, true. Well, I agree. Well, because of the fact that I play quite often, I had all of the gems ready. Yeah. I had to decraft a couple of things that I didn't need, like a couple of things I made for the synchro event and stuff like that. I just yeah. yeeted them away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, built the deck relatively fine. Um, and yeah, it's performing relatively well the times that I've played it. Um, when I was first playing it, people just ashed the wrong thing all the time. Just just hold the ash because you have Tommy in our group chat being like what should I ash <laughs> what should we ash <laughs> mm, 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 brand of you <laughs> it's literally like the crux of their play if they don't they have to use multiple resources in hand but anyway this is a six month old conversation I just can't breathe apparently or master jewel <laughs> no apparently you can't have a drink <laughs> it's not helping uh, we also have some new accessories uh, we have the sword soul He's uh, board that. Um, or field, whatever you want to call it. It actually looks really nice. Uh, we've also got a. Does it? That, I think it does. No skyscraper. I'm sure, but if we had another skyscraper, then we'd have two skyscrapers. Good point. What's the point of having two when we can have sword soul? Um, yeah, yeah I, I think it looks quite nice. Uh, we also get a sword soul icon. Um, I think it's the new um, rank ten, oh, level ten synchro thing. I couldn't tell you, they all kind of look the same. Yeah. Um, and really then we also do. get, uh, looks to be like blacky, purpley sleeves. Oh, and those some look right. yellow, goldy sleeves. Uh, not the goldy ones, the blacky, purple ones. Yeah, I've really got to figure out what I want to do with my sleeves. Then again, I think they're Yu-Gi-Oh! back, and I use Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the real card game, so maybe I'll just stick with that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we also got a new solo gate, uh, which Ugh. was Mermails. Um, I don't know if anyone... I don't know how you get through these solo gates, man. This bloody... <laughs> this Mech Knight one. It's because it's oh, the Mech Knight one is kill... egregious. It's, it's just so killer. bad. I, it just makes me so angry. I'm, the like, Mech Knight one I'm makes winning, me angry. but I hate this, and I hate everything about it. Just um, tell been me waiting some... for Mermail this entire time. You say that. This is so bad, because... You'd assume that because it's Mermail, you also get Atlanteans. You fucking don't. Oh. It's just Mermails. Oh. It's so bad. <laughs> it oh. made me so angry. I played like the first one. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, they're introducing you to the Mermails, and then the next one they'll do Atlanteans. Uh, the can... one after that was um, some other garbage water. Arc, what are Mermails meant I... to do? Like, without Atlanteans, they don't do a fucking thing. Yeah, like, that's uh, obviously. Uh, like there's a couple of pushes for games in the, uh, there maybe but there's literally the no you just ne you just lose everything you it's, go minus it like everything yeah right. so so here's the thing I think it was either the second last or last one that you used the loner decks on it was Marincess Mermel I didn't <laughs> I didn't summon a single Mermel I because oh, yeah. I opened the one card combo and I've played against Luke enough to know what the lines of play yeah, are yeah. to know what the fuck to do so I just <laughs> sat on Marincess. Okay, sure. It was just so much easier. Oh, it's so bad. Um, but free gems, so you know. Um, yeah, I guess, and that's, and I guess that's why I'm the dickhead going. Oh, I guess I'm gonna crack some more of these packs and pull more of that bloody um, the synchro, the level ten. Ugh, so many of them. <laughs> so many. Yeah, I did uh, one branded fusion. Yeah, I pulled one brand of fusion. Everything else crafted. Um, yeah. Soul Soul is dead to me. <laughs> um, I also spied that uh, through some data mining, we know what the next festival is. It isn't the Link Festival as I thought it was. Um, it is Synchro and Dig Z. Oh, Christ. <laughs> you know, those two things that go really well together. In Are a they day. like... They're just virtual festivals. Effectively, yeah. <laughs> Are they okay? Are they like going... Like, have they got any actual ideas of what to... Surely you can go, oh, here, let's do these deck build packs and maybe build a story. Like... Yeah, I don't I don't know what they're thinking with oh that. Oh my god. I, it is pretty much just giving a free pass to Virtual World at this point, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, not looking super extras. forward to that I one. guess if you've already hit Plat 1... Plat 1. Emerald? What's the top Diamond. One? Diamond. If, you hit, if you've hit top... It's Ruby or Sapphire. <laughs> Ruby's better, naturally. Oh, Shrek mug. Yeah. Shrek has joined us on the podcast. <laughs> I'm going so to drink his brains. He wants. <laughs> his lemon and gingery. Uh, it's a, just a lemon green tea. Oh. I love lemon yes. green tea. Could really go for it. That's a good point. More mm. more podcast show tea breaks. Yes. We should. Uh, we should. We'll get sponsored by Lipton, and then when we take our oh tea breaks. Oh my god! Imagine Lipton and Nobbies. Yeah. Great right together. <laughs> They do. Yeah. Tea in your underwear is actually one of life's few pleasures. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the phrase tea bagging comes from. <laughs> it is. That is exactly where it comes from. <laughs> anyway, moving away from Master Duel, uh, over the weekend we did have a oh. YCS. Did we? Uh, I, was, I, was, I had Twitch. I was refreshing the Twitch stream all weekend. Yeah, about that. Um, Canada doesn't like streams for some reason. Apparently they've just never had How it. did I miss this memo? I could swear we ha we've had a I YCS. we've had a YCS Niagara stream before. I could swear, but I had a quick look and People I couldn't find People in our chat were evidence. adamant that they've never had one before. I also definitely was like, but that's in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's so very close. I Is think it borders on just Buffalo. on the other side? Yeah, yeah, cause, like, I mean, well, the, yeah, the center they hold it on is on the Canadian side. Okay. Just assume that we're yeah. holding it in the American side. Where's the freedom? <laughs> where's the gunshots? Um, yeah, where's on. the people not getting robbed for showing up? We prefer <laughs> mooses here. Mooses. Mises. Mice. Just, Mices. No. <laughs> it's just moose. <laughs> moose? You spell, no, it, with, just you spell it with two O's, though. Oh. You always spell it with two O's. No, you spell it with a U. Musse. <laughs> Musse. Anyway, moving right along. Um, we have the top 32 breakdown as follows. 47% Sply, 38% Tier Element, uh, which is the first time, I think, in recent tops that it's been that way. It's about to become irrelevant immediately. Yes. 6% uh, Flunderies, 6% <laughs> Exorcista, and 3% Mathmech. Um, 
And then the top four were three tier element. Top eight was five tier element. Like one sprite, one, 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 one. The, that exo, like that exo player coming to that top eight would have been fucking cheering. That yeah. sprite, like it's just so free. It's every, just like get those sprites out of here. <laughs> every anime weeb in the room would have been so very excited. Yeah, like all two of them. Well, um, all two Exorcist players. So yes, uh, Exorcist did win the event. Um, I'm looking at the list list here. It um, doesn't look fun. No, it'd be like shifter. Yeah, it's it, Jesse Cotton be like. Yeah, the shifter works really well in that deck. Doesn't work as well as in Flunderies though. So like, I had, I hadn't advocated fully for it. I understood it's a fucking good card, it's D shifter. But I'm like, eh, Necro Valley, all the other floodgates, you're fine. No, D shifter is just really good. Shotgunning D shifter is just really good. Mm. Really, really good. Yeah, it'd yeah. skip. It'd be like I skip. Yeah, and nothing particularly surprising about the deck either. It's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty st- like it has Necro Valley in the main instead. Yeah, it has one Necro Valley, two Mystic Mind in yeah. the main. So yeah, so it's splitting that up a little bit probably makes a bit more sense. Necro Valley is pretty free against the main matchups, especially like especially when you get into that top thirty-two where yeah. it you can kind of get hurt a little bit in the earlier stages. So yeah, he, he grinded through taking that deck through was it 11 rounds yeah like that's that's tough like obviously it's a pretty free ride from there but like that deck has so many kind of weird matchups that are just floating <laughs> around they can definitely and obviously they can overcome them do we know what the player count was for the event 800 ish see the ish is my problem it's 860 or something i think oh, I saw. Yeah. Whatever Ooh. number that works out to be, proper rounds. Because they sold out within three days? Or was it three hours? It was something silly. Okay. Um, almost immediately they sold out of spots. So then uh, the... I think it was California... Was it somewhere in Cali? The oh, regions. yeah, yeah. The other regionals had like a thousand. Yeah, the regionals was bigger than the YCS because they put a cap on it. pictures with a queen on your phone then, Jake? It's a meme. It's an old person meme. Simpsons meme. How I was about to say she's an old person, but mm. she was. Um, rest in peace, Queen. <laughs> um, so yeah, really surprising that. Well, not super surprising, but it is kind of wild that like of the top thirty-two, <laughs> only like one of them pushed through the whole way. Yeah, and also it's just another mind deck, and we we said this a few weeks ago. We're here. Like it's just. We're having mind decks. We're like it's just asking for it at this point. It goes in. It has. It has to go. Like by any logic, any, like no matter what side of the debate you're on, it's just like I don't know. It's one like four YCSs in a row. Tyrellians just struggle to deal with it. Game one. No. Yeah. yeah. There's just not enough outs in the deck. And we all want to be playing tier elements. We want a hundred percent representation. Get on the train. Yes. Maybe not 100%. Get on that Ashizu train. Um, But yeah, in terms of the top four for Tier Element, they all had varyingly different builds. All of them on dangers to some extent. Uh, One of them had a pretty heavy uh, toad package from what I can remember. Oh no, maybe it was... No, that's a different list. So one was on uh, uh, Punk Tier Element. Yeah. Uh, The Some of the locals plays that, right? Uh, Logan was playing it for a little while. I don't think he is anymore. Oh, my cards. Ah, those are the cards you took back. Okay, yeah. Here I we... haven't taken them back yet. I need them back, Logan. I need all my cards. Back. Well, he took them out of his deck. Build. He took them out of his deck. In fairness, because you said you wanted them back. You didn't um, give them back to me. No, I'm fairly sure I actually sold them on them at the event. And then? <laughs> um, and then yeah, this one has a slightly bigger sort of package of spry because um, it's got like the gigantic spike to be able to summon jet to get the um, smashes the smashes from deck okay which is a decent little package um, all of them are main decking oh no sorry this one isn't two of them were main decking eradicator epidemic virus yeah and the other one was maining the dynamiscus <sighs> dynamiscus has a really funny interaction I... with tier element I really like it I guess you're winning you're winning the die roll half the time right like <laughs> that's just the way it works if you're me no <laughs> and that's the thing like that that eradicator 12.7 percent of the time eradicator just you know eradicate an 11 round tournament 
I would not. I wouldn't be keen to main that. But there's just there's so much spells at the moment. There is, but you've got so like much. it just feels so like 100. percent It should be in the sides for that deck. So when I, would I was, play to the locals. Well, that's the thing. I was going to play that tonight, but um, I think it was like 10, 30, 11 o'clock by the time I'd actually started putting the cast together to put together with the deck tomorrow <laughs> or today. Um, I couldn't find any full force. Uh, sorry, couldn't find any Eradicator Epidemic. So what I did find was full force virus. Oh yeah. And I was like, this could work because it just destroys anything with fifteen hundred or less defense. And I was looking at, it, I was like, that kills everything in Sprite. That kills most things in Exorcista. Yeah. Uh, kills everything in Mathmech. Like I was like, this will do the job. It doesn't kill Sprite Red, and. It doesn't it doesn't kill red it does oh uh, <laughs> no it does, i don't care about any of those <laughs> that's full combo yeah but you have to have opened them exactly and then you've activated your card you've gone minus and then you don't hit anything well the go, idea Wah! the idea was that i set up the guru <coughs> and tribute that and that way i get a plus off it okay you go even you got to take well, the card from them if i rip cards then it's no, a that's a situation you don't <laughs> if you're sitting if they're sitting on the spells then <laughs> Yeah, the, that's the risk you take. In right? that situation, you'll get in full combo. Then you look at that and go, oh, they've got two mines there. That's all right, because <laughs> any time that I ever started in full force, I also started in anti-spell. The idea was like, if I don't open them, I will take the one that I want with Griffin and set it. Okay. There was plans. The Griffin <laughs> didn't come up, though. Any time that I needed sides, I opened them or milled them without being able to get them back. <laughs> I'm going to do Shalom Judgment. I gotta find a better guy. Yeah, life point cards are really not great at the moment, especially if you're doing yeah. Dark Ruler plays to be able to Metaverse. play. Well, I am playing Metaverse. Yeah. I probably <laughs> should just get um Demise of the Land. Those are also good, yes. The super's a common reprint. Common. Mm. Need to find it. Man here. <laughs> find one. Um, so yeah. The, I suppose a lot of the speculation at the moment is that because of that uh, event, people are now expecting there to be a ban list. Uh, highly unlikely. December 25th, 2022. Well, no sooner than. But they have changed the text on every website now saying a couple of months from now. Care. And the <laughs> and the, uh, the UK version has three spaces in a few of those ones. So whoever typed that, sick one. Well done. <laughs> um... However, uh, in the longing for the TCG to get a ban list, the OCG got one. I'd like to point out, people have been like, the OCG got one. This is unfair. <laughs> the OCG, the gets, OCG them on gets time. one. The same time, every three months. If you didn't know it was coming, you're an idiot. You are not paying attention. Uh, so, the ban list for the OCG uh, goes into Fucking effect mm. uh, next weekend. Yeah, it's a big one. Uh, so, banned, we have Wandering Griffin Rider <laughs> and Union, <laughs> Union Carrier. Legitimately, this is the biggest tap on the wrist I've ever seen. Like, every single card that you're about to see after this is just like a... Stop. Well, you say that. <laughs> I don't 100% agree with that. Uh, Moon so... deck is unplayable for these hits. They're just less consistent. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, so, limited, we have Swap Frog, uh, Keldo and Zolgar, the um, new mill fairies that we don't have yet. Uh, Sprite Jet, uh, Herald of Orange Light, Yadagarasu, uh, Triple P, the Field Spell, mm -hmm. Sprite Starter, uh, Flandery's Magnificent Map, mm -hmm. and Time Seal. Mm -hmm. Time Seal? Most interesting card there. Yeah, well, Yada and Time Seal came off for us, yeah. so they're just copying us. Wait, did we get Time Seal? I don't yeah. think we got Time Seal. Yeah, we got Time Seal. Yeah, we got Time Seal. Did we? Yeah. yeah. We need Time Seal, sorry. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> I just Time Seal over Solon. I could stop them from drawing the Harpy's Feather Duster. You stop them drawing in turn four. Yeah, I was going to say, you stop them the turn after. Because by the time you've activated in the draw phase, they've already drawn. Oh, well, lucky they haven't drawn the Harpy's Feather Duster yet. Yeah. You need a Maka Yura then. <laughs> yeah. I, I went through this when we were talking about our oh. band list of like how you could make this, and you'd have to the go through. You can use the Mercurial. Labyrinth, um, the, the Cuckoo Clock. True. Cuckoo clock. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's a one. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, semi-limited, we Jack. have uh, ABC Buster Dragon, Jack for Jack. reasons. Uh, double Iris. I think that's a 1 to 2. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. So it's Double Iris. Uh, Enchantress, uh, Havnus, uh, D-Shifter, Torn Scales. Enchantress is 1 to 2. Torn Scales is a 1 to 2. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Lightning Storm. 
this this band list is so fucking weird. OCG do really weird things with theirs. But anyway, uh, lastly, Unlimited, we have Ginex, Ally, Ally, Birdman. Um, <laughs> Loop. Yep. Uh, Danger Jackalope. Spiral Resort. Uh, Sky Striker Widow Anchor. And uh, Magical Meltdown. Surely Master Plan's banned. I think it is. Okay. I hope it is. Things are problematic. You can't... Yeah, the problem is with Spiral, you cannot give them a window. Mm. If the, if you give them anything, like give Spiral an inch, they will take a yeah. fucking mile. Surely Master Plan is banned. I'm, with, I'm sure it is. Yeah. It was I, always I the can't problem see, card. I can't or see like, any reason why this will come back if Master Plan was there. All other cards can be at three if Master Plan's banned. You give Dark Magician support, damn, Spiral's on top of it again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, Birdman, yeah, 100% should just stay at one. Like, yep. it's it's pure existence's degeneracy. Mm-hmm. Just leave it. What leave if, it at one. What if... They simply have a list in the OCG of how many cards they're allowed to have at one, and they hit oh. the limit, and they were like, oh, "Fuck, we need a plume." We need more cards. cards. Unlimited leg, then. <laughs> yeah, let's put left leg two. Yeah. <laughs> like... So, yeah, it's a little bit of a weird list. Like, like you said, no deck that they've hit in here is unplayable, um, except for uh, adventure packages and negate package. Yeah. <laughs> Like Since a year they had it. Hmm. But it wasn't doing anything at the moment. No, uh, no definitely not. It's just too inconsistent. There's no point. But The fear had to have been uh, like, or oh, they're getting support. Yeah, but we read through the support. It all locks you into adventure. Yeah. You can't summon anything other than adventure stuff the turn that you use the new support. So it's not that good. So, like, conceivably, if you wanted to keep, as an OCG player, if you want to keep that alive, you would have to go the illegal night play. Yeah. Which is really funny, but it's not as good as a, a negate that shuffles itself back in. Yeah. I wonder if they were thinking of, oh, we're about to give all these main decks six deck slots back because we're living in this shit. Do we just want to get on top of the... Because everyone's just coming to come in first week with the, oh, let's put adventure in. Yeah, here's my adventure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, adventure would fit into she's a tier element if you had the deck space now. Yeah. So I guess that's yeah. I guess that's the thought process. Until you build, <laughs> until you build the adventure. <laughs> ah, that's fine. That would hurt so Do much. Do it after. <laughs> yeah. If you it's don't fine. open the adventure package, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what well, you it's do like, when oh, you put whatever. yourself under Necro Valley. <laughs> you just got to normal summon them early anyway. Mill three, mill your enchantress, and then be like, "Oh, can't use it." Oh well. Oh well. Um, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what effect that has on the OCG moving forward. Um, speaking of looking forward, we have some new cards that have been announced. Um, I suppose we'll start with the Legishkis. Um, so they've been given two monsters and two spells. Uh, the new ritual monster is a bounce back to hand to negate. Um, not ideal to have to return itself. Um, it does do another Especially thing. Especially for a ritual to do that. Yeah, it's not ideal. It also can't be destroyed by monsters special summon from the extra deck, which is kind of cute. They should do it rituals. Has, I think it's based on the same artwork as... Uh, what's the Legendary Shadol Fisherman. Called? No, what's the Shadol called? Squamata. No. no. Uh, Apcolone. Apcolone. It's very similar mm. artwork to Apcolone, and lore-wise that would make sense, because the um, Gishkis came before Necrons. Yeah, so, yeah, the... Uh, yes. Let's just leave it at that. Because, yeah, that's Ariel riding the top of it. Mm. And then, yeah, new random fish. Um, I need to give... This... this I'm going to fix rituals for oh. you, Konami. Have it negate and shuffle a ritual spell or monster from Grave into deck. Um, well, I, I should give this new Gishki a little bit more um, credit. The card it negates gets shuffled into the deck. Uh, that's neat. That's neat. That's a cool interaction. It's cool. No destroy. No destroy. Into deck. Um, R&D was probably playing t- playtesting this against Two Element and was like, we need to shuffle into deck. Mm. Um, they've also got a new level 2. Uh, the level 2 uh, is basically tour guide for the deck. Um, one thing I noticed from replays is that all of the Gishki monsters that do anything that you want to do are level 2. Mm-hmm. 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 And there's no... Is there a, is there a lock... Uh, this one, um, this one has a lock, but none of the others do. Because it's a level two. That's not an awkward fish, yeah. It is a fish. Imagine if it. Oh, totally awesome band. What the fuck was I going on about? 
Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, none of the other Gishkis are, are hard ones per turn. So... Yeah, it loop. It loop. Yeah. Go loop. And, like, and that's probably a fair thing in rituals to some extent. Like, the Gishkis are always a little bit situational with their stuff anyway, so they can have a loop. It's fine. Jake's getting a hand looped for four and then be like... Well, does it shuffle? Fine. Does it shuffle back in, or does it send? I'm not sure. I'd rather make them competitive than giving them a loop, but there we are. Uh, they also get a new ritual spell, of which they have no shortage of. Let's be real. Um, this one is called. This one's okay. Um, this one's ice mirror. So this one uh, ritual summons a gishki. Uh, you can either um, just use your normal stuff um, equal to the level, or uh, attribute one monster your opponent controls that has the same level okay cute not ideal in a format where most people are summoning level twos or like links or all ranks or links yeah, yeah i was saying i'm sitting here all, I not ideal four. I don't give a um shit. but yeah the good thing is that you can use it just normally as well you don't have to use your opponent's stuff um and then if it's in the graveyard you can target a gishki and place it on top of the deck and then add this card to the oh, bottom of the I, deck I, oh fuck what needs to do is plus well the all Gish- you need to do is put the one of them stuff back always recycles itself and like I said none none of the other Gishkis are hard ones per turn yeah I guess so you just do what you want there um no I thought it was a quick play uh and then they get another spell <laughs> which is uh just add a Gishki from deck to hand uh and then during the end phase if you can Gishki control... monster or card uh Gishki monster ah. it's alright ritual cards are easy um, and then if you control a water ritual, you can banish the card in the end phase and set an aqua mirror spell or trap from deck or grave. Okay. Because they've got a ritual trap. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's really cute support. Um, I don't know if it will make them super competitive, but the <laughs> fact that it's an older archetype and it doesn't have those hard locks on the effects means that you can generate some advantage, which is nice. Um, and being level twos, you have some synergy with Sprite. Has anyone, have, have either of you ever had a point talking about a deck where you then have a vivid flashback to playing against someone with this deck? No. Yeah, every time that someone mentioned Mystic Mind. <laughs> like, do I, so is there a specific Mystic Mind memory? Yep. Oh, which one? It plays back, it's like two memories that play back to back. Firstly was when I was versing uh, Michael Duke in Oceanics. He had me under Mystic Mind. Um, I outed it <laughs> and then beat him in time. Yeah. <laughs> um because i out of the mystic mind he was playing striker so we had like five set and was just gaining life points off the earth one so i out of the mystic mind normal summon denko and then just punched him yeah um and then <laughs> denko and then yeah denko was so good um and then the memory that plays directly after that is versing another sky striker player i couldn't get stuff off the board i couldn't out the mine and he won in time and that was on the bubble gishki takes me bubble noises to like old like old dingier good games Wollongong that it gets dingier the fall time yeah a long long ago it's just and uh, yeah it, that was dark that was just a shocking time who were you versing with Gishki? I don't remember was it Danny? no okay because he had an affinity for Gishki. he wanted to do the loop he did he did want to do that that's my vivid memory tell us oh. your vivid memories <laughs> it is very vivid you barely gave any detail you're just like i said did you <laughs> no because like, it's at, like back at good games at a point i've oh no no with, like this is like <laughs> this is like two years after they were released like it was i remember it was so goddamn bright and i was just so like shitty and versing that gishki deck was shitty but I have no ill will towards Gishki now. But I just remember. Well, that could change with the new support. Who knows? Uh, speaking of support, uh, we also have an announcement of some Evil Eye support. Um, so we've got uh, Resurrection. Uh, basically lets you foolish a monster and a spell to add a equip card, which has been really important for them because if you can't get the equip card, none of the deck works. Uh, and then if you link summon an Evil Eye, it lets you <laughs> banish this card from the grave and then... Uh, equip a evil eye equip spell in your grave to something you control yeah so just again keeping that equip card alive 
Uh, then you've got a monster, uh, if it's in the hand or grave, while you control an evil eye, it special summons itself, and then it becomes, like, its own in archetype IP. So you can quick link. Okay. Not so bad. I think the idea of this is, like, between this uh, quick link card and then this one in the grave, yep. that whatever you relink into will have the equipped card and be life. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. So it's not too bad. Helps the deck become tier 7. <laughs> this is all in this is in a core set right it's not just yeah, yeah so this is coming in Photon Harpenova gotcha which is the set we forgot the name of last time yeah I am just going to constantly forget because it's Photon yes did we talk true. about the Chaos Dragons last week yes no huh. no and I can't be fucked going back uh, uh, we'll bring in our resident Chaos Dragon <laughs> expert next week it's Dark and Light uh, all locks you into synchros bar one um, it is so good. Like, like it's just where it's like, oh, Dragon Link is Dragon Linking too much. All Dragon cards from here on out need to say, you synchro with this. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to make that joke. Um, so, uh, continuing on with support coming in, uh, that set whose name I've already forgotten, Photon Hub and Over, um, we have two new generator cards. Uh, basically, to um, make this long story short, um, you've got a main deck monster that turbos out of rank 9 and then a new rank 9 uh, that turbos out the old rank 9 any rank 9? it's okay the rank no, 9 no, that they like to make is banned generator. we can ignore it yeah that's it yeah. that's like the rank 9 is relevant not relevant the benefit of the new one is um, it <coughs> takes one of your cards and one of your opponent's cards as a material and so does can... that have to be level 9? no oh neat yeah, attach She's cards cute. from field and or any graveyards um, to it as the number of materials the card had before it okay. attached. This is the red one? Uh, yeah, 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 whichever that one, that one is. Fire. Oh, no, no, that's not the hot one. <coughs> yeah, yeah so that's not. the main... Yeah, no, you were wrong. Um, yeah, so, again, just helping them do the thing that they're meant Ooh. to do. Unfortunately, the thing they're meant to do is kind of trash. Uh, so, that concludes us for support. We move on to our... Discord, um, which I'm wildly scrambling for Discord on his phone. Yeah, I changed around all my apps today, and I regret it. Um, so he was bragging about this earlier, by the way. He was like, "I get to organize my phone. It's so nice." When what? When did I? Oh, no, I made it up. I was going to say I didn't say that Let's to go you. With it. Anyway, to uh, me, he said someone else. I, was with it. I, was I did with actually say. He it. admit I did say it to someone else. It's really weird because I, know, that you said I was listening. <laughs> I was at work. You weren't there. Uh, I heard you talking about your app placement. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, you fucking didn't. Yes, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ben always hears everything. Ben doesn't hear fuck all. Yes, I did. What? Anyway, I heard we do the have. At the Shut toast up! Factory. Shut the fuck up! Sure, we factory. have toast. Toast. <laughs> Shrike. Every... They had a Shrike. Oh, at a toast yeah, of course they did. That's <laughs> what everyone does nowadays. Yeah, yeah. It's called quiet. You pretty... lazy uh... toast makers. <laughs> All they have to do is burn things. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in and say hi and ask us questions. Uh, first question from this week comes from Ominous Gengar. Uh, is there a deck that you would like to try and play, uh, but just don't because it's expensive or terrible, etc.? There are so many decks that I would like to just, like, fuck around with. Mm-hmm. But, like... It's just not worth it. Like, just playing it in general. Like, you just go, like, this is a great idea. Start playing it. This sucks. <laughs> I've had many of those moments where I've had, like, a, like, just things will meet and I'm like, oh, these two things have synergy. I could play this. I just don't have the time to sit there and craft anymore. Like, there used to be so much more time to, like, sh sit there and just cram two things together and be like, oh, yeah, this works. Like, to... Uh, scroll down to like uh, two years ago when I was building some different variant of Mech Knight Orchest every other week um, I just don't have the energy anymore um, say it with me Jake Agents excuse me? say it with me Jake Agents Agents okay I thought you were being racist um, yes Agents um, did they... I say Asians? Well, that's what I th that's what I thought he said, no. and I was really confused. Um, but anyway, yeah, agents was a thing that I was happy to try a little bit, and that was more a nostalgia thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, like I played appliances at one point. That was fine <laughs> because it was like literally a ten dollar deck. Um, Ignisters, I'm glad I did because oh, they yeah, came back funny. with resurgence. I'm really happy I hung on to those. Um, I wanted to build dark lords at one point. 
they look really fun and at some point I was going to put like a Dark Lord Despia deck together but then the branded support just meant that <laughs> it was just way easier and way yeah. better to do the thing that the deck was designed to do um, what else actually Evil Eye at one point I wanted to try Evil Eye but I'm just not that kind of like player realistically yeah it's it's, it's, it's just not my play style I don't know you summon one monster it seems like your play style I summon multiple monsters now. Normal summon Alistar. Alistar effect. I haven't done that in... Link nearly, one. Nearly a year. Ah, that's fine. So what we know you for. My answer is uh, Dark World. Yeah, that... Wait, the FTK specifically or just no, Dark just World in general? I with Dark World in general. Yeah, it kind of looks fun. Actually, the structure deck could give you that opportunity. Did they confirm it's a structure deck for us? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we got it. confirmed a date before the OCG. It was really um, weird. So, yeah, it's like that... And I want to play UA, but yeah, fucking UA. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand what UA does. I know that if there, I, I don't even remember what the names are. I know if there's a specific monster and a specific equip spell, I am dead. It's just sports <laughs> stuff, and I find it funny. That's it. Hmm? UA. What? Did you Ultra say? athletes, it's sports yeah, yeah, stuff, I under, and I find I'm, it funny. Right. Okay. Dunker. I'd like to go back to Cosmo for a bit. You should. Etel is at three. Yeah. It's not terrible, but it's bad. <laughs> you can, you can a differentiation there, Jake. You can play mine. The differentiation between 04 and 1 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 here for that. I'm here for a 1 3. I think Mystic two. Mind. Go you, need to be, you need to be doing better than 1 3 to be able to get to your points for the end of the year. Yeah, I know it's killing me, man. I was staggered when Jabe told me I was on uh three points away from qualifying. <laughs> oh holy yeah, shit. shit. You I'm play already... Sunbase. Yeah, yeah, but I've been doing terribly. Uh, I'm on nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on like 48. I don't know what qualification points are. 72. Uh, 72. Didn't you make this up? Didn't you tell me it was 72? Did he say it was, did Jabe say it was 72? Jabe tonight well, said it was 72. I was uh, I'm close. Fuck. I'm almost there. We're going to lower it to <laughs> six. <laughs> Everyone makes a qualification. Uh, yeah, Cosmo, I wouldn't mind trying one more time, but I'll probably wait for if we ever get support for it to get back to you it. You gotta tell you three. Go no, talk no, to the guy who wrote Wizard of Oz. Ask him for more support. I want um, all, I want all the crappy characters well, from the sequels. Yeah. Oh, I understand what you mean now. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. You want Dorothy's cousin Greg? Yeah. I want Baby Yoda. <laughs> Cosmo Greg. Boy. Actually, we didn't get um. Dorothy and Greg. <laughs> we didn't get uh, Yoda, did we? No, no unless you off. count Skeddy Lion. Oh no, that was no, Chewbacca. Yeah. No, it's not. It's the fucking lion. The Wizard of Oz, idiot. There's a lion, there's a tin can, there's a witch. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. I'm being serious. I thought he was a farmer. There's the farm girl. Yeah, no, and no, and he's just a farmer. Nah, he's a There's no lion. lion in that movie. Yeah. Just yeah. a man. Man in a bear suit. Yeah. People oh, call him a lion. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to preface that you do realise that the pilots are from Wizard of Oz, yeah? No. They, they do have correlations in Star Wars as well. No, so there's Star Wars ones and there's Wizard of Oz. They're both, though. They're both are. Not all of them. They fuck. No, no, no there's, there's, there's an allegory for each and every one of them. It's fine. Is allegory even the correct word? Tell me in the comments. No. Jake, Wizard of Oz. It's all matters. Star Wars. Not on this side of the table. I can't remember Wizard of Oz characters, but I can sure as fuck remember Star Wars ones. Mm -hmm. well, I remember watching The Wizard of Oz and when the scared lion hopped into that spaceship and flew across the world. Anyway, um, actually, quickly on that, I remember distinctly when I was in like kindergarten or year one, they took us to like the Ruth Theatre around the quarter from our school and, and we watched the a production of Wizard of Oz. No, no, we just saw a production of Wizard of Oz and literally the best thing about the entire thing is they built like a bridge at, as like one of their set pieces and the bridge rotated. So every time they got to the middle of the bridge, the bridge would rotate, they'd go back out the same side. And that was like a whole thing for like a good 10 minutes because that's all you needed to entertain <laughs> seven year olds is just people walking across the bridge and going... <laughs> That's that's all we need. You're to. a very dull seven year old, Jake. Oh, I was bored as fuck. I got put. <laughs> I don't know if this is a story I should tell, um, but I got put into um, remedial maths when I was in year one because they thought I was dumb. Uh, they took me out a week later because they realised, oh, he's just lazy. 
<laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. On the, on the Cosmo story, I want to go back there for a second. Oh, when I got back into playing New Year, I saw this deck called Cosmo, and I was like, this seems really cool. I like the art, the lore behind it's really awesome. It costs how much? Oh, yeah, the Dark Lord. Uh, no, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> Dark Destroyer. Dark Destroyer. Dark Destroyer. Dark Destroyer. They were so Wait, hold on. much money. Yeah, there was so much money, then they immediately tanked it. Yeah, because they were like, here's gold. Off you go. So fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's limited. Also, here's a gold print. This card's what? 10 bucks now? Yeah. Easy. Sag. At least I didn't pay the full price one at the time. In saying that, like, we talk about this a couple of times on different um, things. You played Cosmo quite a bit, from what I can recall. Mm. And you were, like, Cosmo was one of the better decks running around at that point. There wasn't a lot that could out something that couldn't be targeted. No, well, bad thing. But you would have got your money back, surely. Hmm? Like through packs and stuff you earned and store credit, you would have got your money back for sure. What? Never beat Harry at that player of the year, I do. Outside of that <laughs> one event. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it was pretty much all hinging on that. Then I ended up with a fucking JB Hi Fi voucher that I bought a fucking BB 8 remote fucking. Oh, Jesus. That existed yeah, look, at that was, point? Yeah. Oh, was, God. Yeah, it was. Star Wars is old. I was super suggestible. By Bluetooth remotes. <laughs> Uh, moving on to our next question, which comes to us from, I believe, a new listener, Smithy46. Yo! How's it um, going? And it's not so much of a question, uh, more of a suggestion regarding time rules. Uh, interested in our thoughts. Uh, so what if, instead of just recording who won, we had to record how you won? <laughs> Make the time limit 45 minutes, but the clock is not visible. Uh, four points for a standard win, two points if it's a win in time, one point each if it's a draw, and zero for a loss. Uh, half points for a win in time to discourage people from <laughs> slow playing. Four points as a reward for people who efficiently uh, defeat, I won't say uh, the other one, uh, their opponent within the time limit. So, describe the point system, but you should still have to report how the match was won. And if you win in time with a burn or life gain effect three times in a tournament, you're disqualified. <laughs> Hey, burn damage is a... Uh... Wait, hold on. Not to zero. No, no, no. Just yeah, like a just red resonator for gain a thousand. Oh, a cowboy for draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he did cowboy for draw. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to the cowboy for draw, you gear podcast. Oh, I forgot. Damn it. I meant to start the intro. All right. Clip this in. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the cowboy for draw, you gear podcast. I'm not clipping this in. <laughs> I know you're not. Your, here's your man who plays a pack singing and goes... I didn't get what I wanted. Now I've got to find a way to really get a hundred damage off him before I end this turn. Yeah, yeah that'd be interesting. To have so, if you, something if you needs win to change. Via a life gain or life drop effect three times in the twenty, thank you. But at what point do you determine it as like, oh, you've only played this so you can win in time, and oh, this is just natural. Like if I were to play Despair and I set up like a Bernie Dragon and a oh, that's Mirror fine. Jane, and you've yeah. at least made a play. You haven't just gone Cowboy eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. Or full combo into a red resonator. Time. Yeah. Okay. So there are differences. Like you record life points and you record whether or not a life point gain or drop card was played. And if three times in a tournament, DQ. Go on. Get him out of here. Honestly, I would forego a ban list for the next six months if they just addressed the time rules and made it less we fucky. All... It's fucked regardless. So it, we, we it's never going to be have. a perfect system. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. But the fact that if you look through every YCS list, other than Exorcist, because they just pay life points for fucking everything anyway, um, they all have a mechanic to be able to gain life points in time. Yeah. Or burn life points, either way. Like, that shouldn't happen. It's where we are. It's where we arrived. And I don't like it. Uh, but that does conclude us for this evening's podcast. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you're on YouTube, uh, like us if you're on Spotify, Apple Music, all that kind of thing, um, and jump into our Discord. Again, the link will be in the description below. But otherwise, we will catch you next week. Peace. Bye.